Now, the next thing that we'll have to talk about is the trend analysis. Now, this is the basis for almost uh, many uh, of your analytics. Trend analysis is simply the analysis of the past to predict your future. Remember, we talked about uh, predictive analytics. So, in the predictive analytics, what you usually do is based on your past data, you predict your future. So, let's just look at this simple example and then we'll go to our Excel file and see how we can plan for HR based on our trend analysis. Let's look at this uh, data of 2018, 19, 20, 21, and we don't have the data for the year 2022. We are supposing that we don't have the data. But based on this data, you have 100 employees in 2018, 110 in 2019, 121, 133 in 2021. Now, what we can see? Based on the trend analysis, we can see that there's an increase of 10% number of employees, another 10%, 10%, and then 10%. So, if from the last four years, you're having this 10% increase in the number of employees, then obviously, based on the past, you can say that in the next year, which is 2022, or any year that you're planning for, your need of the HR will be 10% higher. So, based on this data, if you multiply this with 1.10, this will give you this figure, roughly this figure. So, now in the 2022, you will be needing 146 employees. So, this is the use of trend analysis. Now, let's just look at the Excel example and see how can we analyze based on our trend analysis. So, this is our data. And we have the data from year 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and till 2020. So, this is the data of 2020. This is the data of 2019. And the same way backwards, we have this 20 years data. Now, what kind of data do we have? The data we have is about the level of the employees. These are the four levels of the employees and these are the different departments of the organization. So, in the 2000 year, we had the 12 HR people at top management, 125 people at the middle management, 122 and 200 at non-managerial employees. The same way we have the data for all the departments. Now, this data is increasing, let's say, in 2002, you have 14 employees. In 2001, you have 13 employees. In 2000, you have 12 employees. That means at the top level of the HR, you are increasing in terms of number of employees. So, based on this data, we have given it a formula and you can come down to the data of your 2021 and 2022. So, in the 2021, if you can see this thing, we will be needing 60 people at the top management level of HR. The same way in 2022, we will be needing 65 people and accordingly these type of people. Now, based on this data or this predictive analytics, you can easily plan for your hiring. Now, plan for hiring is done based on the shortage and or the surplus. How did we do it? Let's look at this data. In 2021, we will be needing 60 employees here. In 2020, we have 56 employees. So, the difference is four people. So, in 2021, you will be hiring these four people. The same way, the difference between 65 and 60 will be 5. So, that means you will be needing 5 people to be hired in 2022. So, this is how you do your trend analysis.